All right, let me know that you can see my screen and everything is clear. Awesome. Yes, it looks good. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, just wanted to give you a quick introduction of who I am. My name is Olga St. Pierre, and I am a local real estate agent in our community. And uh, I wanted to uh, welcome you this evening. Thank you so much for joining me during the, these summer months. And what we're talking about today are just a fun tips and tricks for the summer. It is definitely officially summer. Summer is my official best, uh, best season ever. So I'm very excited that summer is finally here. So just a little bit about me. I have been working with clients and helping them with real estate and community related events for the last 13 years. Actually, July 1st was my first day in the business 13 years ago. So time flies, but I can tell you that I truly enjoy what I'm doing. And being here for you in our community is how I give back and what's important to me. Uh, my focus is to be able to take what you see on the news and here on social media that pertains to our community, pertains to real estate and make it relevant and make and translate that in what makes sense for us here in the community. And that's why I do all these workshops. We do something uh, just about every week on different topics that pertain to real estate, to home ownership, how to become a homeowner and um, you know how, how do we make this happen and how do we uh, function as responsible members of our community. So our team mission overall in our real estate practice is to help anyone with a dream and a budget become a homeowner. I truly believe that you can do that. So if you think of some, if you think of someone or if this is something that's part of your plans, please allow us to talk to you to see how we can help your dreams come true. We do help move our clients, family, friends, anyone, pretty much anywhere in the United States and Canada. And now our network is expanding to other countries around the globe, right? The, the world has gotten a lot smaller in the last you know, five years or so. So please let us know how we can help you. Our concierge service is a big part of our business. Think of us as like Amazon, pretty much A to Z. We are your virtual yellow pages for just about anyone. You're looking for a contractor, you need a financial planner, you need just some muscle to help you get some stuff out of the attic or the basement, we can help you. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you need ideas and help with painting colors or what to do, what not to do. We just need simply to ask questions and say, hey, Olga, I want to pick your brain because I want to do some updates. We are here for you in the community pretty much 24 seven. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We truly enjoy helping every, every, all the members in, in our community. So let's jump right in. What we're talking about today is something fun. And the goal is for those of you guys that know me well, and us, a lot of you do, is my mission in life is how do I make my life easier for me, for people that I work with, for my clients, for my family, for my kids, the goal is how do we simplify and automate some things? And I try to incorporate some of these tips and tricks in just about everything that I teach and I share. So today is basically a summer version. So, you know, we're starting small and just talking about how do we, you know, help and enjoy, for example, using cupcake liners at the, you know, the base of the ice cream pops. So that way the liner is going to catch all that juice and we don't get it all over our pretty clothes right? Um, making coffee ice cubes, I think is an awesome idea, especially, you know, like with me, if I travel or I'm on the road with clients all day, like I was today, I can put the ice cubes in my cup, right? And this way, my, my drink, my coffee does not get water. So I think that's an awesome idea. Half an hour before serving time, you can actually get your table all set up with bowls of lemon and lime halves topped with cloves to ensure that it's a pest proof party which actually is a big deal, right? When we're trying to enjoy ourselves outside, we also kind of get eaten alive and then we suffer for a few days after that. Part filling the balloons with water, you're going to freeze them and pop them in a large uh, rubber tub and you can make a huge ice bucket for all of the bottles and cans. Just some fun and cool ways for you to enjoy your party and actually enjoy the preparations for it. So this is a really cool vacation checklist. We actually took this out of the postcard that we have. If you would like us to send you this postcard, we need your address, but we are happy to share that with you. This goes out to all of our clients in the month of June 
It helps you set up and make sure that when you go away on vacation, you don't forget everything and then come back to something smelly or maybe some plants that are dying or overflowing mailbox. So it is a really cool way for you to have a checklist of things that you need to make sure that you check off before you go on vacation. So if you're interested on getting this over, we can definitely put that in the mail to you or we can email you an image, just let us know. But this is just another way for you not to panic, right? And make sure that you're actually going to enjoy your time away and not you know, suddenly wake up in the middle of the night in the middle of your vacation because you forgot to do something. So you know, just some of these things that you may not think about, but if you run through them a couple of days before your vacation and just check them off, you will sleep better knowing that your home is safe, your pets are safe, and your meal is safe as well. All right, some of the vacation ha uh, hacks in helping you pack and things like that, and then you know, enjoy your time. Uh, shampoo and lotion bottles are a great way to disguise things in your beachside carryall, right? To make sure that the items are safe. And some of these things can be your car keys, your cash, or maybe uh, you know, credit cards. So this way, they're not kind of just out there in plain sight. So use those kind of as a way to make sure that you don't have to worry about some of your things being stolen. Uh, booking your flight incognito is something that I learned not too, long, not too long ago. And the way you do that is when you are in Google Chrome, if you are using that browser, if you right click on your mouse or on your pad, you can open another window and it's called incognito. And if you are to do that, Right. What it's going to do is that it kind of erases all the cookies and all the information that a lot of the websites track about your behavior and your habits. So that way, airline does not know that information and doesn't have that information. And then they can't kind of you know, use that information to their advantage. If you are going to be booking incognito, you are getting a lot of the times the best information, the best deals, because airline cannot manipulate the information that they already know about you. So, and then the second trick about uh, getting ready to travel is scanning your important documents and sending them to your phone. Another way you can do that is if you don't have a scanner, just use your phone and take a picture of your important documents. This way, if God forbid documents get stolen or maybe you lose them, you still have the pictures of the important documents and then you can visit the embassy or you can go to the police station and you explain exactly what was being lost. Next, when you pack, a trick that I learned myself, and this is what I do now, is instead of stacking your clothes, right, when you're just stacking them on top, when you're stacking them sideways, roll it. And the reason being is that, number one, your clothes is not going to get wrinkled, and um, it actually saves space in your suitcase. And um, my other suggestion is for you to use packing cubes. I discovered it from another experienced traveler and I ended up buying them online on Amazon. And under, under this video, when you're going to get a link for it for YouTube, I'm actually gonna link the packing cubes that I bought. And what I like about it is you, you pack different clothes in different cubes. So that way you don't have to rummage through your whole suitcase looking for a particular item. All you have to do is just take that one cube out and all of your clothes is going to be rolled neatly in just that one cube, right? And when I say cube, it, what it is, it's a rectangular, flexible uh, container with a zip. So, but I found it very helpful and you can actually, once you have it all organized, it helps you pack even more. Let's say if you're traveling lightly and you only have a carry-on to pack all of your items. All right, so let's talk about prepping your home for the summer, right? Because we, are, this is something that is, of course, a passion of mine to make sure that you are maximizing the use of your home, but also making sure that you are using it efficiently and protecting your home, right? I don't know if you know this, but you actually have to switch the direction of the, your ceiling fan blades, the way they rotate, depending on the season that you're in, right? So for if when it's hot in the summer, your, blade, the, your blades should be running counterclockwise to make sure that the cold air gets pushed up and, and then it gets pushed down so that way there's circulation. And then in the winter time, of course, you need to switch your blades because you actually have a switch on your ceiling fan to make sure that your bl blades rotate um, clockwise to make sure that they push the heat down, okay? Coffee grounds are going to banish ants. I don't know about you guys, but I am still having problems and they, the ants do store my house, I think every spring and early summer. So this is something that I'm definitely planning on trying. So uh, this is a good tip that we found. Now, 
How are we going to cool our home and also make sure that our bills are not going to be biting us every month? So number one, use those ceiling fans because it will help you and cool your room because you are moving the air. Number two, you can pre-cool your home before the heat of the day, right? So that way you start and you use the efficiency of the air that is already cooler in, in, in the first place. Number three, seal your gaps in windows and door frames. And that's important to do no matter what season you're in, right? Because this way you can have your furnace working efficiently in the wintertime, and then your AC is going to be cooling efficiently in the summertime. One of the best ways that I like to do it is with the foam insulation, right? It's a big like aerosol can, and you only use what you need. And once the foam hardens, you just cut off the, the, you know, the extra stuff that you don't need. Right, and it's also paintable. So it's, it's a great way, an expensive way to make sure that everything that is sealed in your home is um, you know, done in an inefficient way. Uh, blinds, shades, and curtains are a great way for you to block out the sun. So just think about some of your rooms maybe that you have that are get really hot, like my daughter's room gets really hot because we, she doesn't really have the shade of the tree that I have in my bedroom. So we actually talked about the fact that maybe she may want to get, um, you know, those uh, curtains that are blocking and they're really thick. So that is another great way for you to keep your room cool and help you and save on the electrical bills. And of course, check it and take a look and see if your utility company offers some energy saving incentives. Sometimes they have them running on a regular basis. Sometimes they may only offer them maybe when you're getting new systems installed. But just check and see what yours are offering. Uh, they may be running before the new season, right? Like right now we're heading into the summer season. See if they have something special that is running right now specifically for the summer. All right. Let's talk about how we're gonna make our life easier, right? Those are the hacks that I mentioned to you is how do we as moms, wives, business owners, uh, always running around, always have a million things happening and always are queens, kings of multitasking, right? So how do we make our life a little bit easier? So I'm just sharing some of the tips that work for me right here with you. So number one, hang a notepad on your fridge whether it's a grocery list, whether it's a reminder list, thoughts, and, or whatever it is that you want to write down, just remember that we forget things, right? If we are, right, we are thinking about something and we don't write it down, it's going to quickly just kind of disappear from my mind. And then you're going to get frustrated because then you're going to remember down the road and you're going to realize that, man, I should have wrote it down because then I would not have forgotten. And then we punish ourselves, right? So that's what I tell my kids and my whole family, that if you don't write, that you know you finished your Capri Sun or you know your ketchup bottle is at the bottom. If you don't write it down for me on the refrigerator list, it's not gonna get bought at the grocery store. I am not gonna remember it when you're telling me this before I go to bed, right? It doesn't work like that. Or my kids have a habit of telling me they need something when I'm driving. And I tell them that's not gonna happen because I'm driving and I can't write it down. Right. So use that notepad for just about everything and just write it down. I even keep notepads in my car. Right. If I need to remember to get something or to do something or to write something, I will scribble it and then tear it out on a piece of paper. In fact, I have one here in my purse from today. It's like, oh, yeah, here it is. Here's my list from today. Right. That I was in the car. I had clients with me out all day today who came in from out of state. And I, I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't forget because I had a couple of thoughts in my head. So I tore it out of the pad and now it's sitting next to my computer to make sure that I write it down and actually get it done. So I'm, and overall, I'm a big believer of no books, no pads or something just so that way I write it down and it's out of my head. Next, we talk about decluttering. Some of you guys have been to my decluttering class, which we do every month because it's so popular and we bring it back and we update it on a regular basis. A lot of people think that decluttering is complicated and you don't know where to start. But well, here I am offering you a quick way to, do, to doing some quick decluttering that is not gonna take a lot of time and you don't have to even think about it. So use your waiting time. And what I mean by that is, for example, in the morning, all of us have something hot to drink in the morning, whether for you it's coffee or tea for me or whatever you're making a smoothie or whatever it might be, right? It takes time for the coffee to brew it takes time for your teapot to come up to the boiling temperature. So whatever the time is, even if it's five minutes, I want you to use that time instead of scrolling on your phone, 
or doing something else, do a quick decluttering five minute time. Whatever it takes, whatever you need to do, even if it's in the kitchen and you start your way from the left and you work your way all the way around, those five minutes, do what you can, and it's going to make you feel better because you have done something. Same thing when you're cooking dinner, right? If you're making pasta, depending on what, time, what kind of pasta you're making, it can be between seven and 12 minutes long. The same thing. Take the seven minutes and go into your family room and do a quick uh, just kind of overview. Start from one end and you work your way around all the way. Go into a uh, uh, clockwise direction, right? So work yourself from left to right. Pick up stuff, put stuff away. Do like a quick sweep if you want, right? Pick up trash or whatever it might be. Straighten things out, uh, put cords together, organize, okay? If your family member is in the shower, that's what we have. And sometimes I have to wait for them. The same thing. Now, it could be benefit to me because uh, some of my daughters take longer showers than the others, right? And I might be quicker, but let's say it's a 20 minute shower. And now I have 20 minutes to, let's say, you know, throw a, 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 a wash of laundry or take something out, fold some laundry, put it away, right? So use that time. And commercial break on TV, make that as a game with your family. Everybody during that commercial break, it could be 60 seconds or 90 seconds, everybody needs to find a corner and then take those 90 seconds and clean something. So you can make it fun as well. All right, let's talk about some other things. Take the time now, if you haven't done it in January when we ran our winter planning workshop, um, clean out your medicine cabinet. It's important for you guys to go through it on a regular basis. I recommend doing it at least six months and see if there's any uh, old uh, medications any expired medications, you just kind of go through this. It won't take you that long. You can use your five minute break uh, for even doing that and make sure you take it out. It's not recommended that you flush it down or throw it away. Uh, it's recommended that you take your old medications. You can donate them to police department or take them to maybe CVS or Walgreens. Um, some of the pharmacies take your old medication. Same thing with your makeup and lotions. My rule of thumb when we talk about in my decluttering workshop is every six months. You take advantage of December and January specials and incentives that they have out for holiday shopping, get yourself some free makeup, right? Because this is something that you put on your face, you put that on your skin. It is full of chemicals because it's not something that we keep in the refrigerator. So you do need to re renew it and restock it on a regular basis because you put it on your skin, right? If it's basic, just don't overcomplicate it. Ba basic rule of thumb, every six months, you throw everything away and you buy something fresh. Clean your most often used helpers. This is something that we don't realize because we're so used to using them. Guess what? Your phone, you're touching it, I don't know, a million times a day. Your earbuds, remotes, car shifters and steering wheels. I do it all the time. When I get in the car, I actually have a pump sitting on my, my car door and I pump it a couple of times and I get a little bit of extra hand sanitizer. I use it on my hand and then I go like this on my wheel and I do the same thing with my shifter and then I actually clean my keys. So don't forget about that. Same thing with your purse, laptop, tablets, other tech, your wallet, your credit cards, right? Because all that stuff constantly get, 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 gets passed around. You're touching money. All of that stuff is dirty. So think about what you have used and when was the last time you cleaned it and maybe use your 20 minute break tonight to clean some of these items. All right, I have some fun suggestions for you too. If you haven't seen this or heard about this, I recommend that you buy a letter board for your loved ones and for your family. This is something that you can pick up on under $20. It is super fun. And what you do is you write messages on that board for yourself, for your hubby, for your loved ones, for your kids, for your fur pets. It doesn't matter. But you take the time to write out some kind of special message that someone else is going to read. And you can make this as a fun thing uh, to do with your family. Uh, memories from trips. Actually, my daughter gave me this idea. Last time when we traveled, that was before things that happened last year. She actually took a regular notepad and she said, mom, everywhere we go, it doesn't matter if it's overseas or not, I'm just gonna make a memory book out of it. And what she does is she'll collect receipts and stubs and maybe a little uh, something you know, from a restaurant that we visit. And then she will put that in a memory book and then she'll have a couple of pages, let's say, you know, titled them, you know, trip to DC. 
and the date of the trip. And then she has some trinkets and some little things. And it's a great reminder for the whole family of where we went, maybe where we ate and what we did. So it's just a fun way of keeping memories alive. And it's also a fun way for the kids to do some kind of a hands-on activity that is going to bring them joy down the road. All right, let's talk about Zoom. We all have heard and know Zoom. We are on Zoom right now. But what I encourage you to think about is how to use Zoom for fun. Head, all, head back to Eventbrite and scroll through and you can actually search Eventbrite for interesting lectures, classes, and workshops. I had attended workshops on uh, Broadway history in the past, how to make that foam on the coffee. You have tons of other workshops and things that, <coughs> that are available pretty much anywhere in the world, right? That's the beauty of doing these classes virtually is because you can find them anywhere and then you can just jump in and you're in the comfort of your home and you can write things down and you can record the information and you can find all kinds of fun things. And um, I have a link here for you too. You can do virtual tours of world-class world museums right from the comfort of your home because of the technology that we have and it's actually amazing, okay? Next, I want you to think about some of your prized and favorite things. And a lot of the times what we talk about, and this actually came about from working with some of my older clients who may be seniors, you know, sometimes I'll come into their home and I see these beautiful, gorgeous things that are sitting behind in the um, dining room hutches, or it's, you know, beautiful clothing that sits in the, in the closet and they will reminisce and they'll tell me, oh, I got this as a gift when I got married. And I said, well, how many times have you used your dishes? And she's like, oh, you only used it once or twice. And she's like, well, you know, I wish I used it more. So I want you to think about, about all these special things that maybe you have gotten as gifts or you got them as part of a registry of some sort, right? I'm talking about dishes and spoons and towels, sheets and clothing. And I encourage you to just put it in and enjoy it and love it while you're using it, right? I have some favorite plates that I started using. I have some uh, really special spoons that my grandmother gave to me and she's not with me anymore. But yet every day when I drink my tea and I have those spoons and I use them, they're a reminder of my grandmother and I enjoy them a heck of a lot more than if they were sitting in somewhere in the cupboard, right? Or sitting in a... Um, dining room dresser for me. So don't save these things for special occasions. Enjoy them and use them. All right, here is my favorite cleaning products. This is something I discovered last year during COVID. And I said, you know what? I really just need to have a cleaning army, right? Of things that just work. And I don't have to worry about it. And I can quickly get things done and organized and make things spotless and then move on, okay? So these are the favorite things. This is what I use. And they have been tested. I have been a big believer in using Dawn. You know, I actually use it for my dishes, but Dawn has been huge for me to remove stains. I remove stains from some of my favorite pieces of clothing that I haven't been able to remove with other stain removers. So I definitely converted to Dawn dish, uh, dishwashing liquid. Wyman's is amazing for stainless steel cleaning for, of any kind. Now, Barkeeper's Friend cleans just about anything. Um, o cedar spin, spin mop I use on my uh, pergo floors and my Bissell canister is amazing. It's so lightweight and that thing sucks. That motor is unbelievable. So these are my favorite cleaning tools that I invite you to try as well. All right, let's talk about the toolbox and things that you should have in your car to make it easier for you. So I kind of separated in two categories. One is for us humans and then the things that you need for your car which is your foundation, something that, you know, that's, uh, that gets us places and it's important for us to maintain. So here's your list for us humans for the things that I have found that I always keep in my car no matter what that has saved me sanity and money and just made my life easier overall. So here's a list for you. I think the biggest thing that I have on here is neutral snacks that are cold and heat ready for adults and kids. In the case of water is huge for me because I have to drink water, otherwise I get headaches. So I want you to think about what that list looks like to you, for your loved ones, for your family, if you have one. How is, what is it that you can put in your car that's gonna make your life easier? 
Okay, and just remember when you start to run out of those things, you need to put more of them and you need to be just mindful and intentional about it. And you also have to, to take care of your car, right? Because we can't go anywhere without having our car. So having jumper cables, air pressure gauge, first aid kit is very important just in case, flashlight, WD-40 to kind of smooth things over and the basic toolkit is absolutely a must. And what I suggest to you is you put all this stuff in the car and you don't touch it, you don't take it out because it's there for you when you're on the road. All right, personal and family things. Uh, having uh, Instacart for grocery delivery, that has been a huge uh, time savings for me. They have tons of stores, including you know, big boxes like Target and Costco. They even have it for CVS. Uh, you're welcome to give them a try. If you don't want someone shopping for you, give an opportunity of curbside pickup a, a, a chance as well. I have tried it a couple of times. It's been a time saver for me, right? You do it on your app. It's telling you when to pick up, it's ready. You go park, you let them know you're here and you either go in and pick it up or they will bring it out to you. I found it extremely, um, extremely helpful. And you know what else too? It helped me not to spend more money too, because you know what happens when you go into the store, especially those stores that it's not just groceries, like Target, right? And you go in there and you start browsing the aisles and you're like, oh, I do need this and I need that and I need that. And then a hundred dollars later, right? You're, here, you're like, here we are. And all I came here for is really four things that are on my list. So doing these things is also going to help you save money. Keeping receipts for warranties, absolutely extremely important. Um, if you can scan them, take a picture of them in your phone, not just copy because you can't just keep a copy because copies fade. What I can tell you is that if you do not have a proof of purchase, your warranty is null and void. Been there, had clients who had issues with brand new appliances. It doesn't matter if you bought it a week ago, if you cannot show your proof of purchase, your home warrant, your warranty on your appliance, on your printer, on your hair dryer is absolutely null and void. And that's why I actually like buying things on Amazon because you know you can just go back into your history and your proof of purchase is right there. Next, let's talk about your finances. This is something that maybe you guys don't wanna talk about. It's a sensitive subject. You don't wanna think about it. But yes, your financial health is just as important as your personal health. And financial health matters more than you think. If you are talking about buying furniture, you need to buy it on credit, right, to extend the payment plan. If you need to buy a car, eventually when you buy a house, it matters what is showing up on your credit report. So I encourage you to pull your credit report yourself for free three times a year. Here's the website, right? I am passionate on making sure that all of my clients do that because you need to know what's on it. Because if there's any issues and you're thinking about buying a house next year, those issues can take months to clear up and it's time consuming and it's very frustrating. So it's a lot easier for you to keep track of exactly what's on your reports throughout the year and just making sure that everything looks great so that way when the time comes and you need to get that new lease on your car or you need to buy that new car, you get the best price and the best terms because you have stellar credit. Crazy Coupon Lady app is just something that I use and I browse through for deals and coupons. It saves me a lot of time. I don't have to go anywhere else. They put it all together. They separate it by stores for shopping online or shopping in the store. And I love it because I was able to some, periodically get some good deals, whether it's for my um, staging, you know, for my business, whether it's personal for gifts and things like that. Um, easy book recommendation is my favorite read of last year. If you are bookies or you love to read like I am, I really enjoyed reading Gretchen Rubin last year. Her, her book was called Happiness Project, and it was a very light read, but I truly could relate to it. And you know what? It really helped, especially last year when we had a year of uncertainties and, um, you know, a lot of us just needed just something fun and light. And that's what I have for you today. So my contact information is on here. If there's anything that you wanna ask me, if you have any questions, um, this is the schedule for our upcoming workshops. It's bit.ly live with Olga, that never changes. So make sure you save it, put it in your phone, you know, save it in, on your computer. This is where you can go and check and see when is the next class, what time and how do you register. And all of our workshops and recordings are always posted on our YouTube channel. It's called Pan Jersey Living with Olga. 
And uh, I post something there every week. We either have a workshop or a video that pertains to living, working, and um, having fun right here, you know, sub Philly suburbs and New Jersey as well. If you are on other social media, you are welcome to find me. I am on Facebook most of the time, and that's where I live and work. So that's what I have for you today. I know it's a lot of information. I'm going to stop sharing. And this is the time if you have questions to fire away, or if you have suggestions for other things that have made your life easier, I am all ears because that's something that I'm always looking forward to. So we actually someone who is in class from Kenya. That's pretty amazing. Welcome. Well, greetings. Um, just to say that um, when you mentioned the coffee grounds, you're amazing because today I picked up a big bag of um, coffee grounds, used coffee grounds from Costa. So some is for the allotment, mm -hmm. some is for my garden, and the other I'm going to dry and mix with white sugar and make a sugar scrub for my body. That's a very cool idea, actually. Yep, absolutely. See so how much use is out of one thing. Yeah. And of course, the kill the slugs and the bugs eating my plants. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of rain. A lot that's, of a, rain. that's a great idea. Thank you. Yeah, the coffee grounds was a great tip. I had never heard of that before with the Hi, Linda. Hi, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Oh, yes. Because I usually do get ants and I haven't seen them in a while, but I don't even know what I've used before, but that's handy. Absolutely. Um, I have a, another tip, like you were saying about um, putting stuff in the car. Um, having, whether it's you or if you have children or whoever, like a change of clothes also like in your car. Because sometimes, sometimes I kind of travel around and then I end up somewhere overnight and then I have, a, you know, a change or just being out at the shore, mm -hmm. you know, or out anywhere and you just have a change just in case for, you know, a t-shirt or shorts, whatever it is for the summer. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Even just a towel, right? Just in case. Yeah. yeah. I agree. That's awesome. All right, anybody else has anything else that they want to add? I hope that you like this list. I know it's a lot, but at the same time, just pick and choose what makes sense for you and what you like, and then run with it. All right. Yes, go ahead, Linda. Oh, no, overall, it was really good. A lot of your tips, I appreciate them. All right, thank you, Kim. I'm glad that you learned a lot. Yes, everybody's going to get a copy of the slide deck that I shared with you today. So you will have everything and then uh, you can refer back to later. Absolutely. All right. Anything else you guys can think of? Otherwise, we will wrap up and I will let you run. And maybe you can join me another time because we have a couple of other workshops that are coming up in July, including a decluttering one as well. All right, Kenya, we got your email. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay all right well thank you much so much for joining us guys on our first summer tips workshop i'm glad that you liked it we will give you a link to this video as well as send you the workshop uh these the deck slides as well sometime between uh, most likely tomorrow uh we will send that out to you and if you think of any ideas and tips send them over as an email to us and we'll be happy to add them right to our, what we already have. So, all right, have a good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and I hope to see you another time. Have a good night. Thank you.